Hello lovelies, this is Jenzilla and welcome to my YouTube. So today I am doing a super glitz glam type of look and I'm using none other than Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 to achieve this look. Um, I received it this month in my Buxy Charm and I saw it and I thought, oh my god, that is like a beautiful palette, like just beautiful colors and um, you know, I typically do your on the go quick and easy tutorials, but I kind of wanted to take this palette all the way and just give it lots of drama, you know, draped in jewelry and the big lashes, which are also part of my BoxyCharm Pure Lashes. Super excited about this month. Um, enough about BoxyCharm. Let's talk about these eyes. Drama, drama, drama. I wanted to do something that you can wear in the evening and that you would take photos and all your friends would be like, oh my goodness, that is like amazing. Cut crease, giant liner, tons of lashes, just something beautiful. Um, I do uh, want to say that I use a few other products. They will be named in the tutorial. I did all my foundation and contour prior to the video, so we're going to focus on the eyes. It um, is really not anything that complicated. It just is very time consuming. So definitely give yourself some time and, you know, you can definitely pair up this look with a very dramatic, like deep burgundy lip and it would just be like fabulous and just very vampy. But I went with something more subtle, you know, just my choice. Um, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. P press the no notification bell so that you are notified when there is new content. Tell your friends, please leave some comments down below. I want to interact with you guys. I see that you guys are commenting a little more, but you know, I always want to hear from you guys. Um, and if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, I am Jenzilla80. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this super glam eye makeup look. To start this look, we're going to use the color Pearl and apply it under the brow bone. I am using Mikasa brushes in this particular tutorial. Um, the one that I just picked up is a Mikasa E320. And then applying the color Pearl all under the brow bone, making sure that it goes all the way to the inner corner. We are doing a really dramatic look, so we want... Um, to start with at least a nice pearl base. So uh, next we are going to pick up a blending brush and in this case it's going to be my E300. Uh, it's a little dense and short so that we can go ahead and apply color really well. The marina color is going in the crease and that's going to be our first crease color. Keep in mind we're going to use pretty much every color in this palette. Um, so we are really just going in and creating a base for something really dramatic. Now I picked up a large, large fluffy brush. In this case, it's an E330. You want something that can distribute any harsh lines from the edge of the eyeshadow and uh, just make it look a little more seamless. Mind you, these colors don't really go in harshly. That's what I love about Tarte. It's really soft and blendable and it is buildable. So if you're someone who's a little newer at makeup, I feel that this palette's perfect to achieve a really nice smoky look. Next, I'm going in with the color Seaside and doing it as my second crease color. If you notice, I am fanning it out towards the outside so we can get a nice crease line going and for that I am using that same brush E300 to um, apply in my crease. I'm staying a little closer to my lid just to achieve that look. So again we're going in with a large fluffy brush, brush and blending that out. Next step is going in with that beautiful blue color. I am using a Chanel brush for this. It's actually one that I've had for a million years. It's a Chanel 12 and it is um, 
soft but pointed and it really allows me to do very precise work in the crease so the um riptide color is going into the crease and being fanned all the way out in a little bit of a wing this is going to be the base for our crease cut so uh, really this color is what started it all for me i really wanted to use it and i wanted it to be kind of the main event so um, as you can tell i'm really going in heavy with it and then blending it gently so more blending in the crease okay so with any smoky shadow like i said it's not that it's complicated it's really that you have to take your time like you can tell that i go in several times and blend 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 next i'm using a large fluffy brush and diffusing all those harsh lines so i really love that uh, marina color uh, that riptide color and i oh uh, you know once you've applied it it kind of takes over your whole, whole lid so i went back in with uh, seaside and marina and made sure that those colors are distributed back in the crease next i'm using a color pop super shock shadow in hydroplane uh, this is going to enhance the crease cut and i am using a brush e310 to uh, create the crease cut and as you can tell it's a really dense precise brush that is almost like a pencil it's really nice because it really goes in that crease and creates a really precise line for you love the shadow it's glittery it's fun it really goes well with riptide so there it is blended in the crease line and we are creating a small wing Quite honestly, you could have left it just at Riptide and then create a crease cut and gone on with your day and it would have been beautiful, but of course I was going for a lot more extra. So Next, I'm using a Wet n Wild uh, little concealer brush and I'm applying some concealer on my eyelid to create my crease cut. You know, you're going to clean that up. A little more nicely as you go I just kind of pack it on so that I can apply nice color and it's creating a nice clean line for you so we're creating a wing with the concealer taking it all the way from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner we're gonna repeat this step on both eyes if you're not confident to increase cuts you could probably go ahead and blend in a shadow, but that would just mean to have to be more precise creating the crease cut in the first place without uh, using concealer. So here we are, other eye is going ahead and getting done for the crease cut. On the inner corner of the eye, you could have gone with any color. I think, you know, another blue color would have been nice. You could do a smoky brown. You could do purple, that would have been really nice. I just wanted to stay with my um, Rainforest of the Sea palette. So whatever color I am using the outer corner is just gonna be what's in my palette. So now that we've created a crease cut, we have to go ahead and pack in some color in there. In the outer corner, I'm going to go ahead and use the color Breezy and um, that's a nice gray smoky color and it ended up looking really really more dramatic than i thought it was going to you're going to apply that in the inner corner all and fan it out in the outer corner as well i am using a angled brush for that a fluffy angled brush and the one i'm using is an e200 and then next i'm going to be using a short flat brush uh, in this case it's an e230 and i'm packing in the color pearl i'm so sorry conch in the inner corner of my eye so we are fanning it out to meet the breezy crease and go, making sure we're covering the entire part portion where we created a cut crease after having done that, I really like the look, but 
you know there's colors that I felt needed to be displayed so I went ahead and used the same brush and then uh, applied some sunshine into the middle of the eye it's a nice golden color and it created a nice transition between the breezy gray and then the kind of pearl conch that is in the palette whenever we do this you know it just creates a nice blended look go back and blend everything you're going to go back with the same colors several times until you see that everything is um, you know mixed together and not just separate and just sitting there i am going ahead and picking up the color seaside and siren and applying them over the riptide just to make it a little more smoky and sultry next i am going to line my eyes i'm using my handy wet n wild mega line black eyeliner don't be afraid this is actually easier than you think because you already have a guide from the crease cut so it makes it really easy to do a wing Whatever we did to the top portion of the eyes, we also want to do to the bottom. So use the same colors and blend them underneath. I am going to use another one of those concealer brushes and apply the pearl color in the inner corner of the eye just to give a little more pop and make the eyes look more separate. And then on the uh, brow bone, I'm going to use... Um, another flat brush and apply the color pearl just to give it a little more drama off camera I'm going to apply some lashes and uh, fix my hair I hope you are liking the way you're seeing this makeup look so I went ahead and showed you photos at the end of the look instead of me doing my regular posing around for the camera because I wanted to see you to see how well it photographs. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and experiment as much as you can. Crease cuts aren't that scary and neither is eyeliner. I love you guys and I will be seeing you soon.